What are we doing? Head. What are you doing? Wait all day. Oh, 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 oh. Really? Where does it say that? It says stop here on red. You're the one sitting on your phone doing all this. I wasn't on my phone. Really? No, I wasn't. Yeah, I saw you looking no, no, down doing everything phone. else. No, no, I was moving something in my bag. Okay, well. And I'll see you with a ticket and I'll call your supervisor. Sure, sounds good. Let me get your badge number. <laughs> you want to get arrested? You're going to get arrested yeah. for assaulting a civilian. Yep. Yeah. Put it a full mass. Look at that. How the mighty have fallen. How many times have you done that to people, sir? Hmm? In uniform and dared them to do something. In Connecticut, 57 year old Meriden Police Corporal, this man has rank and supervision. Alan Ganter has now been charged with assault after what you witnessed there. This happened in December 2023. It was caught on the victim's dash. Camera. Thankfully, he had one. The video shows the off duty cop with more than 20 years of law enforcement experience reaching into the citizen's vehicle and punching him. Okay. On December 8th, 2023, 37 year old Thomas Bro Cuglio was driving his company vehicle with the dash cam recording when he approached a Toyota Tacoma. At a red light at an intersection in Rocky Hill. The Toyota that was honking, the Toyota he was honking at was being driven by Ganter. Corporal Ganter began taking pictures of the license plates, and Brocuglio accused Ganter of being on his phone as the confrontation escalated. Well, yeah, I saw you looking down. Uh, everything else, said Brocuglio. No, I was. I, I was moving something in my bag, responded Ganter. Ganter then threatened to give Brocuglio a ticket. It's just insane. How, what? You're not even on duty. All right. Um, and to call his own supervisor. Uh, Ganter drove away as Brocuglio placed a call to Rocky Hill Police 911. Why? Because he was assaulted. I was just assaulted by a police officer. He punched me in the face through my window. He explained. Rocky Hill Police responded and generated an incident report saying the punch left him dazed and possibly concussed, meaning concussion. Rocky Hill police made contact with Ganter at his residence. Look at him. The interaction recorded on body cam footage, Ganter asked the Rocky Hill officer, quote, is he pressing charges against me like for breach because I yelled at him and stuff? Uh, the Rocky Hill officer replied, mm, for assault because you hit him, end quote. And then Ganter says, he's saying that I hit him. The other officer says, yeah, and he has video that you hit him. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun with this. I hate the guy had to get punched. I hate that. All right, never should have happened. But talk about a responsible adult who... Knew exactly what to do, had a dash cam video, talking about perfect circumstance. He picked the right one that day, damn it. That man called 911 immediately, had an incident report, had the video ready for them. And now a person who has been a law enforcement officer for 20 years, obviously this is not his first time assaulting a citizen for nothing. That's my opinion. Ganter then asked officers if he can charge, now watch this now, Bro Cuglio. Can I, can I charge him? Can we charge him? There's nothing where I can press for breach, for him yelling at me, whatever it is. But let me just put this picture back up. Sir, you've been a damn cop for 20 years. You are asking your colleagues, is there a way I can press charges against him for, for speaking? It's unbelievable. Ultimately, Ganter, uh, who is also a school resource officer, for the Thomas Edison Middle School was charged with breach of peace and third degree assault. 
The Maryland police sent Fox 6 to 1 a statement saying an internal affairs investigation determined Ganter did violate the police department's rules of conduct. And as a result, was suspended for a whopping five days without pay and will be required to attend de-escalation training for three consecutive years. Oh My goodness. Officials said, quote, at the time corporate Ganter was pet was placed on administrative duty. He was also removed from his assignment as a school resource officer. And as a result of the discipline, which was rendered as a part of the um, IA investigation, Corporal Ganter was permanently removed from his assignment as an SRO, school resource officer. Uh, this is the chief of police. Now, chief, the next time he does this to someone, when I tell you they're going to sue this department into oblivion, because now you have what's called negligent retention. Negligent retention of an employee. You know good damn well he has this affinity to violate the rights of citizens and you kept him on board. Uh, so this is the chief of police, his name is Roberto Rosado, per Fox 61. After issuing the statement, they said they would not be discussing the matter any further, nor would anyone be available for any on camera interview. Good, I can just talk about you then, with your picture up. Since you won't talk to us. All right, Jordan, thoughts here. Yeah, the the clip of the cop when they show up to his house was incredible. <laughs> yeah. Him dumbfounded that he couldn't just punish this guy, just make up a charge. You can't just give this guy a ticket for something for yelling at me. And his shock when he realized that not only do they know that he punched him. But it's on video. He's just like, oh, I'm screwed. You can see it in his face. Right. But the fact that he is trying to just slap charges on this guy for no just with no justification illustrates where cops see themselves. The, and the stop alone, just the confrontation alone. Oh, you want to beep at me? You want to yell at me? I'll hit you and try to get you to give you a ticket. I'll call my supervisor. The guy didn't do anything. And it shows where they see themselves in society. That's above the law. There's a two-tier justice system, and they're above it. They don't have to do anything. You have one for the wealthy, one for civilians, and then cops just don't get in trouble. Yep. I'm, I'm shocked he even got removed as a school resource officer. Right. He has to go to trainings, okay, but he's still going to have his job. He's still right. going to be a police officer. Despite this incident showing, there is a clear risk of abuse of power with this guy. And they don't care because it's all an insider's club. There you go. Uh, and I'm sure. There's history here um, where he's done this before. If a man is willing to uh, to overturn somebody's life in such a way for something so petty, you don't think he's done it before. He's been there 20 damn years. Of course, he's done it before. That's why he posed the question to the other cops. Can we do this to him? Are we? You're not down with that? We, we're being recorded right now. Oh, I got it. I see. 